Shane, Shane's friend or uh, special guesting today is uh, uh, Juan's uh, bicep. So thank you. Thank you, Juan, for uh, the guest appearance from your, uh, your arms. You know, Sandy, as I, as I will put on this shirt and was tuned, like booting up the computer, I was just thinking of how you're going to give me shit for it. For wearing a regular tank top that's not special at all. I yeah, just, dude. Yeah, the camera's on. Hey, I understand, man. If I had your arms, yourself, I would do it too. If, you I had your, yourself, dude. if I had your arms, I would do it too, buddy. I, on, I, don't, people, I don't, you know? The people have seen me on the race, Shane. They know I don't have big arms. Oh, <laughs> come on. Uh, uh, so glad to, uh, glad to be here. Uh, I know that we missed last week's uh, recap. Uh, we had some technical difficulties, but we're definitely going to be covering episode three and episode four, or at least the remainder of episode three. We put in a little teaser uh, last week, I believe. Yeah, the teaser was actually the first eight minutes of our hour-long pod that yep. uh, completely erased from uh, our computer. So uh, thank you to the website that will remain unnamed uh, because, of, you know, don't want to burn any bridges, but like... <laughs> <laughs> and if you have a website that yeah. does streaming, hey, yeah. maybe sponsor us. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Slide in, slide in the, in the Wanta's DMs and uh, uh, we'll, uh, you know, my, my, oh, we're looking for a new pod, extreme, pod streaming service, so so please give us your ideas. Yeah, this isn't a joke, please. Yeah, no, no. An hour of content gone. <laughs> Just poof, gone. <laughs> like, if you, or if you know of a good one, drop it in the comments. Right. Uh, yeah. uh, what we got? Okay, man. Well, so we got... Um, I guess where we left off was uh, the fact that, uh, you know, you were yelling at me, the stress got involved, you know, avocado got cut, and that's how that happened. So You know what? Uh, I think I think that goose is cooked, dude. I think you've gotten drilled enough by the internet that I think we could just fair. let her die. Dude, I'm telling you, I, I've, gotten, I've gotten comments that, like, you know, you, you think everybody is good, which I still truly do. I do believe everybody, you know, deep down is good, you know, most people anyway. Mm. But holy cow, man. <laughs> holy cow, Jesus. dude. People were like my, personally attacked, dude. I know. I got my own wife <laughs> cooking me because I can't cook an avocado. <laughs> like, just <laughs> this is I, tough, dude. I, like, I'll be honest. I, it kind of started a trend, at least for me in my life. Like, I only cut avocados that way with my wife now. And like, I say, I say nothing. Like, we'll be like making dinner every once in a while. Like, we have like a taco bowl night, and I'm making the guac, and I go and cut the avocados, and I. Like I wait for her to look at me, and I'm like, like cut it the wrong way, and she's just like, she like gives it a smirk, which to me is good enough. Nah, that's yeah, it's good. Hey, do you got a ghost in there? What's going on? What'd you just do? Did you hear that? No. Okay, it was definitely. Did you hear that giant thump just now? Dude, it was my shower. Hard, it was my shower curtain. For some reason, it's been falling. Maybe it is a ghost. A little poltergeist. Dude, actually, poltergeist. it's funny enough. Is I saw a meme the other day, and it's like when you're a par- when you're a f- new parent. And you hear noises at 2 a.m. around the house, you almost hope it's a ghost and not your toddler out of bed. <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> yeah, no kidding, dude. Oh my gosh, bro. Yeah, please, please, please. All right, man. Gotta be haunted. Wait, wait. <laughs> what do you think? So, so I mean, okay, so we're gonna quickly recap um, uh, two weeks ago episode, right? And I think that's yeah. kind of the game plan here. And then uh, yep. yeah. So leave us off, bro. Hey. All right, sweet. So yeah, we're <clears throat> first day in Medellin, uh, Guatape, was it, which is actually located in Medellin. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous, uh, everything around it. It was beautiful scenery. It is the most colorful t- city in the world, uh, at least according to Phil. I didn't even know that fact. But hey, we were yeah. blessed to be there. Uh, we already got to the cooking part of it. We'll, we'll just skip past the avocado and the egg of it all. We we got her done. We got to the abuelas. Uh, it was really sweet that they had uh, like abuelas as the as the judges. I will say, and I don't know if I mentioned this last week, I really wish they would have tasted it because I feel like that would have been a like that would have been a like a differentiator. That would have been a variable because my shit tasted well, really good. Dude, I mean on that point, like Derek and Shalisa, you heard what Derek said. Uh yeah. Derek said Derek said, listen, C's get degrees. And like that's what we did. I, I think we took it a little to the extreme, rightfully so. You know, you don't want to look bad in front of the abuelas in front of your hometown. That wouldn't be good. So um <laughs> That's a good point, yeah. And you did, you did a great <laughs> job. You cooked a great job. Uh, you know, obviously the internet's had their way with the other half of our oh, team as far as how they did. So we'll leave that, that out. Brutal. Yeah. So but yeah, no, it's I think I think we spent a little bit um uh, probably more time than we needed to, making yeah, sure yeah. everything was like perfect. Um and that's and we kind of we kind of took that one to the chin uh, a little bit. I, I think we no. we what like one or two teams ended up passing us at that point that started after us. So it's like dude, and I what? think I think had we known that from the beginning, we would have had a different approach. What are you gonna say? Different approach? No, 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 no. You, you're right. And yeah. but 
you mentioned it last week after you know uh, the, the pod rice. gods the pod gods decided that our podcast was not good enough to air. So poof, gone. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, but you so a big thing uh, was the rice, and like we forgot to start cooking the rice, in which the rice takes the longest. I mean, I think that dude, I think that rice over that little burner that we had, I think it probably took like fifteen minutes, dude, like twenty minutes, yeah. maybe. Long and then, time. and then, I, and I think we alluded to this last week too. That like we started out with one cup of rice, not realizing it was one cup per bowl. Yeah, dude. and that was a mistake that I made because I was reading it. I was the one that read it to start with because I'm the one that recognized all the stuff. Um, and and I mean, I think Ricky said it best in the show when he was like, "Yeah, it's all about like knowing how long everything takes." I think that would have cut a good 15 minutes of our time because we caught up to them. We were with Group One. I know. And then I know. Yeah, we we were we were too. Yeah. Because remember, remember when we were standing on uh, El Pañol and we were like. We're, you, I think I think I I think correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you're like, dude, I, like where are these boats? I'm like, I think they're right there. Do you remember that? Like, or was it like yeah. the other way around? Like, I no, forget. No, I think you saw them because you were like, yeah, right, I think that's a dock. Yes, dude. And so like yeah. we saw it from there, and we're like all these teams are like, go, remember we get to the bottom and like I forget who it was, but like one of the teams like went like the opposite direction. I'm like, yeah, I'm like bro, I think, that, I think that I think it's that way. Well, they didn't show it, but that team I, again, yeah, you're right. There was definitely a team that we talked to. I can't remember which one it was, but they were like, you guys want to work together for yourself? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I and we were like, we we're pretty sure it's this way. Did I yeah. really go this way? We're like. Okay, if that's what your gut tells you, we understand. Let's split up, and you know, yes, we, we wish you the best. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, I can't yeah, remember yeah. who it was. It, it, yeah, yeah, but that definitely happened. Definitely yeah, happened. Agreed. So anyway, I think we, I think we ended up getting a leg up because mm-hmm. we were, we just like took a short. Remember, we like went down a super like steep hill. I think it was stairs, yeah, but like we went sketchy. down that. Super, remember that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like we're like, yeah, dude, this is like just direction. We knew it was that way, and then we ended up like right on top of the boat. So that that gave us a a, a jump start to the abuelas to cook some food, yeah, which ended good. up. Uh, not really mattering because yeah. I think we had a little bit of a hiccup. And I would, I'll own the rice, dude. I mean, I, like, no, I don't think so. Because the thing is that, like, and I mean, don't get me wrong, dude. Sociopathic behavior. What you did to that avocado. Yeah. However, yeah, you were yeah, very was. receptive. <laughs> you were you were very receptive to like helping me. So like, it was. I think I I obviously like stepped up to that because I knew that I had a familiar like familiarity with that dish i should have freaking cut the rice yeah dude i mean like listen like you were stressed out you were cooking some food like i like you were extremely stressed. i've never seen you that stressed out before and like i was like man this guy must you know he must not do a whole lot of cooking he's stressed out so i didn't want to make it i didn't want to make anything worse you know it's still like stressed i didn't see that till like i saw the episode i was like yo i was like i was literally talking so i was like i can't blow this i can't blow this it's like you're easy dude oh dude i mean i mean it to be fair, like we could have got to the abuelas and it was your abuela. Like, <laughs> like, like it, could have been, it could have been your abuela up there, bro. Like, who knows? I made that comment about my aunt and I heard a podcast and they were like, imagine if they would have had Juan San out there as like a judge. I would have been like, if we don't get number one, then there's going to be a, some big family drama. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, because you, you, were, you were worried the entire time. The enti- and they did actually catch that on film and air it. Uh, but you were worried the entire time. You're like, oh, dude, I'm going to run into friends and family. Like, I'm going to run into family <laughs> downtown. And, like, they're going to be like, oh, my God, that's Juan. And then they're, like, going to talk to us for an hour, invite us back to the house. I'm going to have to tell them no. And then I'm going to be grounded when I go back to my adult house with my wife dude. and kid because my mom found out. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to look like such a D-bag because I'll be like, hey, sorry. <laughs> See ya. Yeah. Um, but okay, sweet. So after after we cooked, uh, oh, that's when we took the moto taxi, the the little the little scooter taxi thing. Yeah, man. Um, I think Super they showed cool. Vinny pushing it at one point. I don't. We had to do that too. Are you talking? Oh, you're talking about after we got off the boat, going to the ca- no after the cooking, going to the cafe for the uh, roadblock. Oh, I was talking about from El Peñol. Then we got to the boat. We did the water oh, okay, taxi. Okay, yeah. The water taxi was like super, Incredible. super Incredible, cool. Yeah. That was like you know. I was using a lot of inintelligent words uh, as I was trying to explain my uh, my emotions that I was going through. Just being able to be there with uh, Juancho that was super cool. That was Dude, super cool, man. And I will say, if you're if you're if you ever get the opportunity to be on the race, like there are moments where you are able to appreciate it. And I mean, maybe hey, be proactive. Like be proactive about your time, but also like really take a step back because that crap was breathtaking. That you Dude. don't see that every day. The camera did super not do cool. it justice. Yeah, yeah, it was super cool, and we did. I mean, I think I think at this point, and probably last, like actually, you and I were like, man, we're not, 
we're not seeing anything just because and i think that's just because of what like i think that's because of what we i, I don't know exactly. like how we approach the race and how we approach yeah. tasks and stuff like mm-hmm. we were very mission focused and we were like exactly. there's one thing on our mind we have to do one thing in order to move on to the next thing and unfortunately uh, our experience up to this point in the race uh kind of took a little bit of a hit because dude, remember we got all the way up to that uh, el Peñol after the 700 some odd steps and i can't i can't tell you what it looked like Looking over the no, edge. No, God, no. No, no, no. I mean, I could tell you what it physically looks like up there because I've been there a couple times. But if you ask me from that experience what I took away, nothing. Oh, I dude. I, that I, was, I was looking at my shoelaces and I was so freaking tired I was healed over. <laughs> <laughs> you were reading the clue. Hey, do you want to do the cooking? I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. You got you got to, you know, you, you, you got a lot of muscle hauling up the, that rock, dude. Like, I didn't have so much. So I was kind of zooming up there and I was just, you know, trying to get you up there. You did yeah, good though. I, I packed my pet rock collection apparently because that bag was that bag felt like three hundred pounds by the time we got up there. Your pet rock and it's and his his best friend and my bag as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Eight eighties reference. If you're too young, uh, pet rocks were a thing. Ah, dude, that's. I mean, I mean, isn't that a SpongeBob re- reference too? Like, I'm not a I'm not oh, an eighties baby, and neither are you. So I don't even know why you said eighties reference. <sighs> It's because, I, it's because I coordinated I coordinated the Christmas party this year for my squadron. And it was an 80s theme one. So I had to learn all about the 80s. Oh, so you're just going to talk to our viewers as though, like, you you remember the 80s? It's like, oh, yeah, the 80s. It was okay. one hell of a time. The 80s in Colombia <laughs> happened in the 90s, okay? I, was, I, I lived the 80s through a delayed timeline in Colombia. Okay, okay. <laughs> I yeah, owned yeah. a Walkman. I owned a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> what else did I freaking own? I played the original Pac-Man, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> did you have a Nintendo? No, I think the first console I ever had was here in the United States, and it was a PS One. God, dude, you were behind. All right, yeah, I'll give you that. All right, hey, hey everybody, <laughs> welcome, welcome, uh, watch it. Retro Wancho from the eighties. <laughs> retro Wan, dude. Retro Wan, yeah. Oh, um, okay, so, so yeah, man, like, so we were water taxi, and then we got to the other side, which you were talking about. Uh, yeah, so we we passed. I think we talked to cooking to death already. We cooked, got into the little tiny moto taxis, uh, and those things have. Ne- like three horsepower dude <laughs> that thing saw a hill and it was like it's life's challenge you and i got off actively and pushed it multiple times yeah dude and you know after taking after taking the abuse that i did uh from hey let's be fair juan you were the first one to uh to abuse me about the avocados so thanks <laughs> Juan, Juan caught us on the spot. Baby. I'm a trendsetter. Yeah, trendsetter. He knew where this was heading and like, <laughs> hey, good was. good on you, dude. Um, <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, can, uh, can, we do, can we have a quick word from our sponsor? <laughs> yes, please. I would love to hear who our sponsor is today. <clears throat> word from our sponsor. Learn to cook with Shane. Have you ever found yourself cooking the same thing over and over again, week in, week out, enjoying the plate of ramen noodles, but not so much the journey? Spice your kitchen up with Shane's Cooking Lessons. Here you will learn and experience firsthand multiple ways to cook that boring meal, which will add flair to your which will add flair to your life and identity to your kitchen. Here you will witness unique alternatives to the path which society has deemed normal, such as making breakfast or even something as simple as cutting fruits and vegetables. Join us today to wow your friends and family at your next barbecue. <clears throat> Shane's Kitchen is not a commercial business, and the employees have limited exposure to culinary science. All techniques and procedures shall learned shall not be exercised in front of loved ones, and especially friends and acquaintances. Should anybody decide to exercise these techniques, they are subject to humiliation via group texts, phone calls, emails, voicemails, and even exploitation on national television. <laughs> Shane's Kitchen prioritizes safety in every sense of the word and warns that setting foot in Shane's Kitchen is not safe to you, your family, or your social status. Safety first. (laughs) Safety first. If you hire Shane's Kitchen for a house party, it'll be the last house party you ever throw. Hey, I want to give it up to uh, Shane's Kitchen for uh, sponsoring uh, the pod. We uh, couldn't do without it. If you would like to sponsor the show, either humiliate yourself on live national television or throw some money at it. Don't recommend don't recommend. <laughs> I I would highly recommend just you know sliding into one of our DMs, being like, "Hey man, I got a different you know culinary course that you might want to think about. We'll explore. It. It's probably going to be a no. We've got a good one, but <laughs> we're kind of set there. Maybe maybe hit us up on something else. 
All right, dude. I'm sorry. I jumped on you as far as you were explaining the taxes. I just had to. I just no, had to get the word good. from our sponsor. They paid good money to be on the show, and that was a good fitting point in the pod to, to our get it out. Weekly this, sponsors so. is my favorite part of the show. I wonder how long you'll be able to keep this going. <laughs> hey, man. Don't don't look at me. It's it's the sponsors, it's, dude. It, they, they 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 threw money at it. Hey, what I always say. Couldn't we couldn't couldn't do without them. That being said, going back to the race, something I realized <laughs> is that in the in the cameras and the little taxis, it's a good thing that you and I were racing together because <clears throat> I feel like you and I get really serious and like kind of maybe off putting to some people when we're focused. You saw everybody else in the in the in the taxi, so many of them were like having fun, like busy was doing the freaking rowing thing, and I, and you and I were like, bro. <laughs> I mean, it's back to the, it's back. You're 100 percent right, man. We were yeah. not like. And at this point, dude, like we a few teams like they passed us and we're already not happy with our finishes. Like fourth, fourth, fourth. Like dude. we're not happy. Like fourth and fourth up to this point. And like yeah. we we know that we we need to we need to do better. I mean, it, it, there's there's one team standing at the end of this race and uh at this point Juan and I knew that we weren't good enough. Uh so mm-hmm. we weren't having so much fun on like destinations, especially when, you know, a couple teams passed us already. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, we got there and it was, it was honestly, it was awesome. It was awesome seeing the countryside because I was able to show Shane like a lot of stuff about it. A lot of stuff that I was able to fortunate enough to grow up with. Um, and then we got to, we got to the big mansion, which everybody saw was, you know, it's gorgeous. So at the peak of a mountain, it looks amazing. Um, and then we opened up the clue and here we go. Yeah. Who's feeling, uh, I think that was, who's feeling picky. picky. Who's feeling Wasn't picky. <clears throat> who's yeah. feeling picky. Uh, you know the the uh, story is uh, as old as time. Uh, you know Shane and Juan's uh, approach to all the clues and whatnot and all the roadblocks. And it was like we're on a coffee farm. Like, dude, this this doesn't take a whole lot of brain bites. I don't think it was just left yeah, hand, right yeah. hand, and uh, literally. Yeah, we've already alluded to uh, Juan's got the the more bigger brain. Uh, so uh, and arms, as you can see by his, oh his tank God, top. <laughs> I'll give you a flex right before uh, before we finish up the pod. <laughs> oh yeah, um, dude, don't worry. We'll, be, we'll we'll make sure not to cut that. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Yeah, who's feeling picky again? Shane kept like insisting. He's like, "Let me do the physical stuff." And I mean, that being said, Shane's got better stamina than me, so I figured, yeah, uh, I I I kind of got some shit for not doing it for my family. They're Did like, you what really? Do, you do it? Yeah, they're like, no way. Do it? Yeah, they're like, just freaking like you like you spent your time out in the countryside. Like maybe you didn't pick coffee cherries, but why didn't you just do it? And I was like, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna say no to a break. <laughs> I was like, did you see that mountain? <laughs> yeah, well, and and I don't think this was as physical. Like, I mean, it sucked because you're climbing up and down a hill, but like, it, it, that was you know whatever. You're sitting on your knees like the like or your butt the whole time, like as you're just picking coffee cherries. Well, for what it's worth, dude, I had a great time just chirping you a rod. I don't even know what oh, he said, dude, but dude, we were having such a good time, bro. I was giving it back to to uh, to Rod as well, and like, yeah. kind of, yeah. Like, and, and and I think I think all you see is just me laughing. Like, no, Rod, yeah. Rod and I were we were we were we were giving it back to each other. Um, but it, that that was a lot of fun, and that's dude, that's kind of where the uh, orange team, green team, uh, you know, alliance kind of started. Ooh. So here's something I learned from the super fans is apparently that's like a curse word in the amazing race community. Like they literally say the A word instead of saying the word alliance. Like apparently it's a huge taboo. <clears throat> what? Tell me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I'm not even kidding. I've seen so many podcasts where the word alliance comes up. They don't even say the word alliance. Dude, Dan and Angie say the word alliance on the show, on, on the air. I completely agree, which is why it threw me off so much when I saw it. Um, <clears throat> but I just think it's hilarious. I don't know. It's one of those, like I learned more, more and more about the super fan community and I love it. Um, yeah, I mean, but, but at so this point, we started working together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So anyway, uh, long story short, uh, we, they're our friends now. <laughs> they're playing the race. Yeah, we're. Uh, yeah, it's Instagram official. Out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> so, so yeah, Rod's giving me shit uh, on the uh, family show. Family show. He's he's giving you the stuff. Family show. Sorry, he's uh, you know, <laughs> he's uh. He's chirping me. He's chirping me from the bottom of the hill, you know, because you, you can see just how like electric, you know, the 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 machine is on the side of the mountain right now. He, and he's he's worried. He's worried. Yeah, he's, trying worried. He's, worried. he's trying to get my head. He just sees the and then lo and behold, like the machine like broke down at some point because like Vinny comes in, says hi, and then just leaves. I'm like, bro, bro, what? I think Vinny. I was like 20 minutes after he left too, bro. 
I don't I can't remember how many people there were when Vinny and Amber showed up, but Vinny left all of them. Not a single from the point that Vinny arrived, nobody left before him. Dude. Like I, pe- if I remember correctly. I think no, you I think you're right. Yeah, I think you're hundred percent right. Holy crap, man. People holy talk about God. people talk about our uh jump to the front when like on that first episode. Dude, mm-hmm. I think this this kicked the living heck out of our you know, climb to the top. Yeah, dude, I don't want to put us to shame, but they started in 12th place in leg one and got to second. They were second, right? They finished second in, th- in the third one? Yeah, I think it was second on that one or... Yeah, because yeah, Ricky and Caesar won. Sorry, not Ricky and Caesar. Yeah, Ricky and Caesar, Vinny and Amber. Yes, they were second. <clears throat> yeah, that was, imp- that was yeah, impressive. That, and like, it, incredible, incredible. And dude, I thought I was going fast, man. Like, I thought I was, I was going pretty quick, but... You seemed pretty dynamic up there. That, 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 that's what I was going to ask you is like, was there like, was it hard? Was there not a lot of cherries in each, in each uh, bush? You know what? After, after watching it back, dude, I think like what you would have heard from me is I'm like, Hey, take the path less travel that bears more fruit and you know, blah, blah, blah. All the, you know, you know, yeah. The, you know, the witty sayings, hopefully get to, hopefully get on the air, you know? Yeah. All the Robert well, Ross references. Well, Vinny's, Vinny's uh, witty comment was, uh, why is everybody going up the hill? There's a bunch of red ones here. And, and <laughs> that's, and he said it on air and like, that's probably what like the truth was, man. Like I wasn't going far, but I was climbing up the hill and I don't know, man. Like I, I don't remember every bush being super full, but like it wasn't hard to find him. Damn, dude, I don't know what it is. And he was Vinny, so calm about it. Watching Vinny it was back, going, and he was just sitting down, dude, just enjoying the day. Just another day. Another day uh, in the life. Dude, he was literally going two hands yeah. though. He was talking about deserving hand. it, dude. Yeah, he is, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Incredible yeah. athlete. And it showed. We got lapped. Afterwards, I think. <coughs> Who came in third? Uh, by another it, team. By another team. Was it like, Lisa? At the, no. Uh, no. Who got third? Man, I cannot, why can't I remember this the order? It, it wasn't. No, we were, we were fourth, fourth in front of Rod and Leticia. Correct. Third was Derek and Shalisa. Second was Amber and okay, Benny. So first was. was. Okay. okay, yeah. Derek yeah. and Shalisa, dude, they make it look easy, <laughs> man. They are in incredible shape. Those, the, those guys are studs. They yeah, are studs. studs. Um, um so yeah, so you picked. I think you were up there. How long do you think you were up there? <clears throat> oh, dude, <clears throat> I think probably like probably like twenty five to thirty minutes. Like, and I think felt, I think Vinny like was. Did, and maybe it was, dude. Maybe no, it was no, like no. 40 it was forty five. So like it was like we were tired. That was a. It wasn't a, a relatively long day, but it was just like starting out with the rock climb was nuts. Yeah, dude. I don't know. <clears throat> was it like forty to forty like five minutes? Maybe it was longer, dude. Like, and I know I, I was standing there. I went down, I think two or three times to uh, to make sure I had a pound, it's and possible. he told me he told me no like twice or once yeah. or twice. Yeah, but anyway, we we got to Matt, and um, on our way to Matt, we yeah, 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 yeah. get into go it. ahead, go ahead, good. On our way to the Matt, we're finishing up. Shane gets the right away, and then immediately after that, um, uh, Leticia does too, and so we start walking, and we see them walking behind <clears> us, and so we're like. We, there's obviously nobody in front of us. We actually take a wrong way at one point, even though it's back at the house where we just were. We were the yeah. opposite direction because we, I don't know, we bit off on something. We and did. Really they we, did as yeah, well. We did. When we confirmed there was nobody in front of us, we looked behind us and we saw Derek and, and Leticia and we're like, listen, Rod and obviously if you guys just see, uh, Rod, sorry, Rod and Leticia, uh, obviously you guys are seeing what we're seeing. There's nothing up here. We're going to have to turn around. You're going to see it already. Might as well just let you know that and we just all start going together. And we, the four eyes are better than two. We're in the middle of the pack. Nobody's racing for first. Let's just do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and uh, and then we you, you're because you're 100 percent right. We went the wrong way, and then we just turned back, and we were kind of like walking with them, exactly um, uh, a little bit. Uh, but I mean, then but you know, then when we saw the mat, even though we knew we kind of had an idea that we were in fourth and fifth, like yeah. we saw the mat, and like like and then at that point um, was the point that our grandchildren learned that you and I have a better 40 time than a uh, uh, first round draft pick in the NFL. Juan's not so hot take today. We outran an NFL player in the 40. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. Dude, we did. We, are, are we, no, we beat yeah. him in a 40 yard dash. It's proven. It's proven. Yeah. I mean, what, what place they come in? Fifth. What place they came in fifth. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> fourth, hey, fourth place finish. We came in 40 yards. Was, would you say it was roughly 40 yards to the mat from like when we were together and then when we were there? No, I would say it was exactly forty yards. Forty, yeah, forty yards yeah. exactly. And we were like, we were parallel. We were walking together. Yeah, and exactly. uh, Juan and Shane fourth place finish. Uh, Rod and Leticia, uh, not fourth. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, exactly. Anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't we think we need to like run. I don't think we need to run that back or anything. I, I think it's good. 
Right. Listen, I'm not saying the Redskins are going to call me. I'm just saying I would consider it cons- based on my performance. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for Ron to watch this. Oh, I love you, Ron Lutetia. <clears throat> Hopefully they uh, uh, they, they, they checked the pot out last week, so it was nice like, to yeah. see them in there. Yeah. Well, and so, honestly, and, and back, back to reality for a second, uh, it was awesome step being on the mat with them like at the same time. Like, oh, yeah. and like being able to ring in like, Hey, you know, you made it through round three, we're going to round four. And I think we see that flourish later on because we're going to hit on episode four too. So, you know, that's going to, that's going to play a part and it's, that's not foreshadowing. It's fact because it's already here. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> that you're talking about in the, in the next episode, which was last week's. Yeah. Correct. Yep. Um, and that's, uh, that's exactly, that's exactly right. We kind of held, held that bond uh, <clears throat> into, I guess, last week's episode. So, mm-hmm. I think anyway, beat him in a forty-yard dash, and then that was uh, that was pretty much yeah. It's it's kind of it's really so Wednesday, yeah. I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a picture of Rod framed, and then like a little like comment box underneath it, like for my grandchildren to see, and say like I beat him in a forty-yard dash. I'm gonna we should make a T-shirt <laughs> out of us running <laughs> to the to the finish line with Rod just behind us. <clears throat> <laughs> How dare. Oh man, no, dude! What do you do with that big brain of yours, man? Like that thing is like is it, is it like how do you not like just like tilt over? <laughs> I play way too many video games. <laughs> it's a great idea. Um. Okay, sweet. So yeah, we came in fourth place. We cannot, and I even said it on the map. We can't shake fourth. We are. <clears throat> this is our purgatory. We're, and and for and to us, I mean, we're we're extremely grateful. Where we're and we are. With each other, we're proud of each other for pushing ourselves always because we know we're always putting 110 percent in. Um, we left it all on the field. However, I think to us, because of our personalities, like the pressure starting to build a little bit because in our eyes, we are on the chopping block. Like fourth place is not a final team. Nope. So nope. we're and we're and we're being uh, like f- fearfully consistent about fourth place. So we got to yeah. step it up. I mean, you got you to figure, dude, like where we come from, our backgrounds, um, what we sacrificed to run this race. Like, yeah, really. you know, at this point, at, like I think and at this point in the show, we have been gone now for uh, two weeks now. Like so friends, family back home. You had a little one at the time. I was working on a little one. Um, yeah, dude. I mean, and so like now, unfortunately, like the competitive nature in Juan and I, it didn't I would say we weren't having fun. And we weren't having a t- a right. ton of fun because of the uh, the stress of not being in that top pack. It was frustrating, exactly. It was, and I would I would I would almost categorize it as it was a it was fun because of the experience, coated with a layer of frustration. Yeah. Oh no, hundred percent. Like I yeah. like like it was everything was amazing. Uh, no pun intended. Like it was incredible. <laughs> but the the fact that we were not in that top. Pack. That's probably a better way of putting it. Yes. The fact exactly. that we weren't in that top pack was uh, not fun. Was making yeah. you know. Yeah. It was uh, so the crap out of us. That's why you I see us in the back. Go ahead. I was gonna say I think <clears> we'd <throat> go back to the hotel and like train. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, uh, I mean, yeah. We debriefed as far as like what went wrong. I'm like, hey, dude. Like, yeah. Thanks for making fun of me for that avocado. I'm sure I won't ever hear about that again. And like, you know, we would just have good, good, hearty, wholesome conversations between the yeah, two of us. Yeah. Yeah. Really that was good. honestly that was one of my favorite parts too. Is all the time we get to spend together. Um. <sighs> anyway, enough of that crap. Uh, yeah, was, all right, moving on. Here, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, moving on to leg number four. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. So leg four. We started off. Oh my gosh, it was just last week. Uh, we started off with a uh, paragliding. paragliding. Yeah, thank you. Uh, super cool. Yeah, incredible. super cool, yeah. dude. Mm-hmm. That was like wicked awesome, um, dude. Do you remember the overcast deck that you like? You and I like being like obviously the only pilots on the race. Like we're looking at each other. So let, let me paint the picture. Like there was a cliff, and then there were a bunch of like paragliders Mm -hmm. without engines by mind you right yeah and like over the cliff was this just layer of clouds and one like how did uh, being a pilot how did that make you feel well it made me think about flying and then not being able to do the thing we have to do because it's all visual you mean flying (laughs) yeah (laughs) and so like my thing was i was looking down and in my head the thing that kept reoccurring was like i'm like hey i'm not seeing anybody else jump like we're 
like obviously people aren't going because of this <clears throat> and now we're getting strapped up to be the first ones to try it out i don't i know we're high but i don't even see our destination so like Juan and i are having like a like because of that point exactly like we don't yeah. we can't see anything over the cliff like we're having like a conversation amongst two pilots like dude this is a a visual flight required event and like we can't see anything like like in our in our careers, like if we are faced with that, potentially there's a very high potential that you're not going to fly because right. uh, if the cloud deck is too low, then you don't have the weather to take off. And like we are in a cloud right now. Oh, dude, and we're we, like, no, we were in it. We were in it. We were like, we were yeah, in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were in it. Like, like I, I wouldn't be able to see the parking lot from where we were standing. Hundred percent because of the cloud. Dude, if you took a deep breath, you'd be like. You'd be hydrated for the day. You don't need to drink water. Like, that's because yeah, You'd be hydrated. <laughs> was, uh, uh, yeah, it looked like yeah, it looked like the thickest fog you'd ever been in. But it was very obviously a, and not just a cloud of that. It was like pretty gray. Like I was like, like this is looking pretty. Anyway, long story short, it was a, uh, <clears throat> it was questionable at best. So we're just like waiting to see what's gonna happen here. Yeah, and then the heavens parted into one hole. Yeah, okay. dude. Yeah, you remember that? I did. It was Ooh. it was wild. It was like, oh, we see it. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh. You see that hole over there? And I'm just like, kind of? They're like, we're going. I'm like, like why aren't you running? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Literally. It's like, start running. It's like- <laughs> um, it was cool that I spoke Spanish because I was able to like, because they obviously, you know, we got talked to by the instructors prior to. Um, <clears throat> it was interesting to see kind of Shane like really locked in and trying to understand as best as possible. Um. You know, because you know he'd rather not die that day. Not what he was planning. So, yeah, well, what are they? What are they telling us? Like, we're not going to jump in this cloud, right? Yeah. No, no, no. Actually, they're they're saying we're going to. <laughs> okay. um, so, like, go. No, I was just saying, like, you have people on the race that are about to jump that, like, may be afraid of like heights and stuff, but like, they don't really understand like the way that Juan and I understand things, like as far as aviation is concerned. So, like, they don't really, they're not really nervous because, like, why should they be nervous? You know? Yeah, that trust by ver- but verify scale was was leaning real heavy into the trust side, not so right. much to the verify side. <laughs> so, like, they're like, no, we're going, and and then lo and behold, um, these guys are were as safe as can possibly get because. We run off the ledge, and like Juan said, there's a hole. And like, as soon as you run off the cliff, like you look down, and you're like, "Oh, they they they've been seeing this the whole time. Like they could yeah. see the ground." And as soon as they said go, obviously it was uh, it was as safe as you get. Safety first, like obviously safety so, first. Safety first. These guys were professionals. They were incredible personalities. Very very. <clears throat> like, I don't know. They they treated us like incredible incredibly. Shane and I took off at the same time, and I think that that was on purpose. They were trying to get all the teams to take off together. So as we were like kind of zooming around the air, they showed like a small clip of it, but we were up there for like a good maybe fifteen minutes. Um, and our guy, I don't know, I don't know about your guy Shane, but my guy was like, was like, oh yeah, so like you're a pilot. I was like, oh yeah, like you know, in the back in the United States in the Air Force. And he's like, you want to fly this thing? I'm like, oh yeah, no. dude, no. <laughs> you didn't take him up on it. I don't know, dude. I did. Oh, dude, I did. He said because oh, he said the same thing in like in broken, you know, in, in broken English because I'm not very good with Spanish. And he was like, yeah. he was like, you're pilot, pilot. I'm like, yeah. He goes. <laughs> I'm like, what is it? And he's like, he's like, yeah, man. And so like, I took it and uh, like, and I mean, it's just a one big wing, so you sure, pull out on the one yeah, side, yeah. right? And then like, it like went like this. He's like, okay, I got it. <laughs> like, but yeah, at one point, me- y'all was gonna say your guy and my guy were like understanding each other because at one point my guy was like, hey, do you get like, do you get like motion sickness? I was like, not really. He's like, okay, cool. We're about to start ripping. Yeah, yeah. that was freaking sweet. Super cool. Super cool. Great yeah, experience. Like. Hey, shout out uh, Amazing Race. Thank you so much for that experience. Dude, yeah. That will go down uh, in my life is probably one of the coolest things that I was able to do. So, Yeah, Sean said on the air that he said he was the most beautiful thing he'd ever seen, and he was not downplaying it, dude. It was breathtaking. It was incredible. Like, yeah. here we are, not only in, in you know, Juan's home country. I'm there with yeah. him, but now I'm looking at, like, where he grew up from, you know, yeah. 10,000 feet. It was insane. In- insane. Yeah, I'm sorry if it feels like we spent a lot of time on that, but it was it was that great of an experience, honestly. Absolutely. But so we landed on the ground, obviously, back on back on hard land, uh, and it's time to open up our clue in the second group. Dude, I'm I'm drawing a blank. We opened the clue, and it said it was a uh, oh we're running now to a detour. Uh, we had to get in the taxis, and then we went yeah. to uh, the detour, which was it was essentially do you want to dance or something memory uh, yep. based. 
the clue basically said, make your way to Comuna 13 via taxi. We got in the taxi. It was it was a longer drive than the race show because it was far from where we were. Right. Um, but we got up there. <clears throat> the guy, I'd never been there personally. Super cool experience. They basically explained to us, hey, just go straight. And then I ran pa- right past the clue box. Did you see that? Oh, dude, dude so I, well hidden. It, it, and dude, I, <laughs> they, they, <laughs> you are not getting enough heat for that. It was not well hidden, dude. It was, it was playing out in the, in the <laughs> open, red and yellow stripe. You just blitzed right past it. I'm like, yo, Juan. <laughs> if this mic was the clue box, I was like, yo, where the freak is this clue, dog? Like, <laughs> dude, dude, it was that was hilarious. Face. I can't yeah. believe you're not getting friggin' roasted for that. When I saw like, that, I was like... <laughs> yeah, he was like, stop like, oh yeah, it's right back there. I'm like, <laughs> oh, but the avocado is what you guys want to get hung up on, huh? <laughs> because you did it on running, purpose, Shane. It's weird. <laughs> running straight by clue boxes, that has no no repercussions. But cut, God forbid you cut an avocado in quarters. <laughs> it's just, I think, I don't think it's too much to say that you're the first person in history to have ever done that. I don't want to talk Whatever. about it anymore, man. <laughs> uh, you know what? Like, like, I, I, okay. I, I, answer I, puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> shut, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Oh, man. Okay, so listen. Hey, I, I, hey, I, and I, all of you out there do, shut up. All right? Stop being so mean to me. <laughs> it was okay. a moment of weakness. I said that. <laughs> I was listening to a podcast that gave a shit. I'm not, I, I can't remember what podcast it is, nor would I even mention it. But they, they mentioned something about, about, yeah. about Shane and I. like, Juan and Shane are a good team, but they don't play to their strengths. They should have done the puzzle instead. In what reality do you think that if we would have understood the puzzle would have been that easy, we would have picked the dancing? I didn't Obviously, listen to that. I didn't listen to that pod, but that's that's actually a funny uh, <clears throat> that's actually a funny uh, a funny take. Yeah, that might be a hotter take than what than one of Juan's that's, hot takes. Yeah, yeah, that might have taken the hot take of the day, dude. I don't know. Like because we are playing to our strengths. Like yeah. like you th- okay. Everybody's like, oh, you're an Air Force pilot. You're wicked smart. It's like, I'm smart enough. <laughs> that's, that's about it, right? I'm smart enough. Not, and, like, and in the clue, it said something about, and I, I can't remember exactly, but it, it definitely is, it alluded towards, hey, like, artwork, sca- it, even, it might have even said the word scavenger hunt. It, it said something about looking for art. And then it said dance. And, I, and Shane is like, what do you want to do? And I'm like, I, looked, I took one look around, and I was like, Shane, I do not see art anywhere here. This thing takes us on a wild goose chase to find one painting. We're going to be here for seven hours. Yeah, it, it definitely, the, like the clue did allude to like, it was, it was going to be an artsy pu- a puzzle. And yeah, it, you've, you've seen uh, thus far. Although one, you did, you did pretty good, man. Did you launch your company, by the way, your, uh, your, your makeup company? Did you launch that? Did you start doing weddings and stuff? Um, It's in the works right now. I'm, I'm calling okay. it, I'm calling it. Uh, I can't think of anything clever. Uh, no, I haven't launched it yet. Well, when you get the name and you get it launched, make sure you slide my DMs. Maybe we'll get you to sponsor the pod. Ooh, <clears> yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, but yeah. So anyway, we're, like we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna mess with stuff that we that we know we can obviously do better uh, if if it's a physical task. And like, yeah, as you can see, Juan and I, we could cut a rug. You know, as a, as a as the as the kids are saying these days, cut a rug, <laughs> dude. Okay, so. You know what? I, I I I don't know. Maybe if you remember this uh, better than me, but you and I got there. We were pretty sure we weren't the first team. I mean, I mean, we could like count how many clues there were. Um, and I, did we wonder why we were the first ones at the dance? Because no, we were there alone we for like twenty we, minutes. We, we knew we were ahead at this point. We yes, thought correct. we were ahead because we got to the clue box and we're like, we are one of the first teams to get here because it's full. And we're yeah, like, maybe you're right. Maybe that was it. Th- I, th- I think that's what happened, dude. And I then feel like we should have wondered why nobody else is doing the dance before us. No, it's because like we got to the clue box and it was full, bro. Like, remember, like I started freaking out. I'm like, dude, like, I don't know how, because like, again, Juan speaks, he's in his hometown. So I think you, you and the taxi driver, man, you guys were, you guys were having some pretty deep in-depth in in conversations. Yeah, there was a bro. And like he got us there pretty quick, and we're like, "Holy cow!" And so, yeah, first to get to the dance, first to start trying it. And so we see it, and <clears> it <throat> just says dance, right? And I, I don't know if it like alluded to break dance, but I was like, "Hey, I I can dance pretty well." Different dances. When I realized it was hip hop, I was like, "Dude, I I don't know, I can't do it, brother." I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping. I was really hoping that there was some of this going on because that was the only kind of dancing that I'm good at. And uh, 
I got, I, I forgot to tell you this. I got like seven texts about you, about that line that you made. That is like, well, I know, I know how to line dance and square dance. And that's about it. And like people are texting. He's like, dude, that's the most Air Force pilot thing I've ever heard. So? Uh, I know that was, but we got it. We got it done. We, it, we got and it. and we so got now it. this was the, the tough thing here was that we, we were the first to get there. The first to grab a dancer, the mm -hmm. first to try the dance and the first to get a dance, like to get, to get the clue or to get the, uh, the next clue. And so Juan and I are freaking out because like, we have a pretty good hunch that we were in first place when we got there. Yeah. Now we just finished the dance first after we just seen, you know, saw like four to six other four teams coming, yeah. filtering behind us. We're like, we're in first place. We finally cracked it. We finally cracked it. Yeah. Like happy Juan and Shane are like, are, are like starting to, we're nine. starting to, yeah, exactly, dude. Like we are starting to see like happiness. Like we're exactly where we, we know that we could be. And uh, we get the clue. We start walking down the escalator and we see Dan and Angie. And they're like, you guys are doing great. And they blitz pie us. And we're like. Yeah, I was like. Danny, the clue box is that way. Um, He's like, no, uh, man, we already. I'm thinking. I'm like. We already got. We already did that. We're, we did the puzzle. And then immediately, dude, like a like a ton of bricks. I started thinking of teams that we never saw the dance that were left in the first group. And I was like. Yep. Bro, we are in sixth or seventh place. Yep. Oh, and man. so. So now we're on our way to uh, to the roadblock, and what you guys saw, and dude, I don't know if I, th I don't think I told you this, but Juan's doing the talking to a taxi driver. At this point, mm -hmm. I'm not navigating because it's our taxi guy. Like, hey, sure. go jump in a taxi. They know where you're going. They're going to take exactly. you there. Uh, Juan's talking to the guy, and I hear them say, okay, we're going to try a different way. And like the GPS says like four more minutes. And I just immediately, I'm like, <clears throat> I don't like this because like typically nowadays, even though we're in Colombia, like, and it's not America, I would have to imagine that the GPSs are probably pretty accurate these days everywhere. And so yeah. like, I'm, I'm kind of nervous at this point. I'm like, it's telling us it's going to be longer. And uh, yeah. And so my mindset behind that was, I don't remember a lot from Colombia. I've lived most of my life in the U.S. Um, I've gone back a lot, and uh, uh, I remember because I mean, this is Medellin, so I recall that we were entering a highway that got really busy during the day. And so when he alluded to the fact that there was another way, I was like, "There, this might be a safer bet." Because I think back to like GPS when it tells you, "Hey, you're going to be 15 minutes in traffic," and then it refreshes and it's like, "Nope, you're going to be 30 minutes." And I thought it was going to be one of those situations. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I did. And I took a. I took a risk, and the amazing race chewed me up and spit me out because we. <clears throat> and you know, I. I don't know if it was solely you, dude. I think that the guy, like, he was kind of already pushing that way. He's like, "Hey, I'm gonna go a different way," and yeah. like, and like, you. I mean, you were doing the talking to him, so. But like, I. It was I, one I, of those not, things. Yeah. Not on you. It's just like, hey, we ended up going a different way, and uh, we get we get to the the roadblock, and sure enough, there's a team that probably finished the dance a good thirty to forty five minutes after we left. Yep. And then, yeah, and that's when Ron Atisha showed up in front of us, um, Amber and Vinny. And, and I, I, look, I look back at it, and it was one of those things that, hey, you, you, you risked it all, and you know, we, we lived with the consequence. I, I don't, Shane, thank God, didn't dwell on it at all and didn't give me shit, any shit for it. Um, I think in a situation where, like, hey, you know what, at least focus on the good part of it. At least we got a chance to work with Ron Atisha because watching other teams do that, Shane, you're the one that did the challenge. Watching other teams do it, it, it was a, like a hard challenge. So oh, dude, you had Rod to help. It was it was a it was a difficult challenge, but the difficulty didn't come from like the memory the the memorizing because like I mean memorization is always hard, but like if you're like rogue memorization's a thing, and like you can remember like somehow whether you make an acronym. That's what I did. I just made an acronym. Like like the first statue on the right starts with a C, the next one an E, and I just like C E P F R Z, and I just remembered it right. And I'm like okay, and then I got the thing. I'm like oh here's one that's a C P E, and like. That was easy. The tough thing where teams struggled and where I initially struggled was orienting myself. So, like, which we've, we're, we're, we're pretty good at navigating. And like, I get to this thing. I'm like, okay, I look behind me. There's a building that looks like a museum. Like, I'm like, that's the museum. Smoked it. I put some things up. I get a check. And then the guy's like, no, dude, you're like more than half wrong. I don't know how I got a couple right, but. Um, 
Wait, all right, so let's back up. So why did Shane do this challenge? When we got to the clue box with uh, Rod and Leticia, we read our clue, they read their clue, and the, the, the clue was, who's feeling artsy? Now, from this point where we're standing, we can't see the stations that Danny, Amber and Vinny, and Rick and Caesar were already working on. <clears throat> so we didn't have an idea of what this was. What I thought it was going to be was I thought you were going to have to recreate one of the statues as a drawing or like by with clay. <laughs> and I was like, Shane, Dude. I am not artsy. Dude, dude, you you looked at me. No, you know I'm not either. You looked at me and you go, hey, man, I already did one of the artsy challenges. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I did say fine, that. Fine, <laughs> fine, dude. I'm up on your two to one roadblocks, but fine, I'll do it. <laughs> so, oh, dude. And yeah, I'm so that glad was, you did it. Yeah, that's exactly what. But, like, honest to God, like, it was, uh, yeah, so we get we get doing the challenge. Uh, Rod is like, hey, let's work together. And at this point, uh, you guys saw from last the episode prior to that, uh, we're, we're, we're already starting to, um, <clears throat> we're starting to help each other out, uh, because yep. Rod and Latisse here are a strong team. And we know that if we want to go someplace, uh, to the top, uh, strong teams will help strong teams and hoping that Juan and I at least thought we were a strong team. So we, uh, <clears throat> we started, um, we started doing the roadblock and yeah, I was messed up. Rod comes over and he's like, He's like, hey, like let's uh, let's go. I think maybe I told him like, hey, let's go this way. Let's do it together. And he and he's like, no, dude, that's the museum. He's like, you got your bearings now. I was like, oh, dude, pff, done. Like once we once I oriented myself as far as where I was, thanks to Rod, because I, I don't think I was close. I probably would have taken a couple more times. Um, uh, as soon as Rod oriented me, like it was done. It was over. Like I could put all the things up and and uh, and we got a check and we were right. Uh, and then at the end, all the way at the end, <clears throat> when Shane got it right, and then Rod, I think, had just one off, um, and the judge is like, and then Rod's like, wait, wait, no, like, why am I still wrong? And Shane goes to help him to make sure that he gets the green. I I was a big fan of it, and I'm glad he did it, and I completely support it, precisely because of what he just said. We, I, 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 and we had some people like saying, he's like, dude, you could have just left him there. He doesn't know what's wrong. Like, that's going to guarantee you number, what was it, number four, uh, fourth place or whatever place you're fighting for. And it's like, dude, like, if it's not first and it's not last, we're going to help. And well, I think that's what something that we talked about. Well, it doesn't cost us a lot. Yes and no, right? Um, yes and no. That's been our mindset. Um, however, uh, there were other teams that, that tried to work with us as well. But at that point, we're already working with another team. So, like, guys, at this point, the race, there's nine, there's nine or eight, eight or nine teams left. And, like, it's nine. Yeah. yeah, nine teams. So, like, it's starting to, you know, it's starting to get tight. Like it's starting to get a tight race. So like Juan and I, at this point, it wasn't the first leg of the race anymore where there were 13 teams and we were just going to help every single person. Um, right. We had made our decision that we were going to help, um, you know, we were going to work with Rod and Leticia that day and um, it, with, with hopes that uh, it would pay off. And, and on that leg, it did. Uh, Rod helped me out. We smoked through it. I returned the favor. Rod smoked through it. I think we got a lot of, we got a lot of shade for like um, not, not, joining the map before them um we split up like they went one yeah. way we went the other way and we're like hey when you find phil just start screaming and like they started screaming they took them out like i don't know that, that was that one didn't really upset me because we were in fifth place anyway so yeah or we, we were in the second group anyway <clears throat> exactly it didn't it didn't change our departure time for the next leg which no. is what's honestly what's important um and 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 yeah when we got to the park they they obviously showed the park. They didn't show what the full park looked like or where you started. It was a really big park, and it was hard to find them. Like people were like, "Just go down, just go down the end of the park and find Phil." No, oh, it, it was, was so like hard. there was so much. It was it was like a labyrinth. And so yeah, at one point we decided, "Hey, let's just split up. Just make it known if you see him, and we'll start heading in that direction." And that's exactly what happened. I wasn't mad. At yeah, that yeah. And I th dude, I think we looked. We walked around that park for twenty five minutes. I think overall, from the moment we left the roadblock to getting to the to getting to the mat, was it like an hour and twenty minute time frame? You think it was that long? Well, we we walked at least like eleven or twelve blocks before getting to the park. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to remember exactly how that went. We walked four oh, blocks. Dude, yeah, I think I think it was like oh, west, four blocks west, and then that. yeah, and then like ten blocks south before we actually hit any north before we before we actually hit anything. Yeah. And then, and then uh, once we got there, dude, I think we walked around for like 20 minutes. Yeah, and then we walked around the whole freaking park. So, yeah, dude. Uh, I literally Baruto. just got a message right now from a buddy of mine. What's this fifth place finish bullshit? <laughs> <sighs> Our community's uh, hectic, but they support the crap out of us. Yeah. Uh, 
Gosh. Oh, let's uh, see. Yeah. What else? Um, it was uh, Two Legs in Colombia, which I thought they did a really good job at showing two completely different parts of what Colombia has to offer. So, I mean, no no qualms there. I love being in my home country. I thought it was fun. It was incredible. And now we're off to Chile. Santiago. Yep, Santiago, Chile. Where, uh, by the way, like, because like, like, everybody knows that we're going there at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in the... It's in the Santiago, uh, the city... I don't think I've seen a cleaner city ever. Like oh, just yeah. a little prelude to next week's pod. Like I don't think I've seen a cleaner city. Like you could eat off of the streets. Yeah, it was a, it was phenomenal, and not just clean, but like modern. Like it was it was a it was just an overall all encompassing very beautiful city. And just yeah. wanted to throw that out there. It doesn't give anything away or anything. And if you like ham and holy cow, if you like ham and cheese, you're in for it. <laughs> you're in for a day. Um, let's see, what else you got? Uh, oh man, man, How I don't you- know. <laughs> Dude, did you work out today? Yes, I can't. Did you work out, didn't you? You yes. did. Oh yes, my god. Dude, can you take your shirt off? No. I'll give you a little flex. Like, ah, no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm nervous. Oh, now. dude, yeah, you no, no, please do. Please do. No, I'm no, gonna no, cut no, it. No, I'm gonna no, make no. a reel. I'm gonna post it on the page. I'm gonna send it to all of our buddies. Just do it, please. No. No, because that's exactly right. I don't wanna get I don't wanna get Come on. Are you pressuring me right now? You feel pressuring me? Dude, I'm I promise you, this is gonna be a freaking. <laughs> Stop trying to peer pressure me, bro. <laughs> oh god, you're hilarious. Oh, All right, uh, dude, I don't know. That's what I got, man. That's what I got. Uh, uh, we hopefully. got some. We got some big stuff for the pod coming up. Uh, I don't want to give anything too much away, but just keep a lookout. Uh, we're gonna be releasing some things. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. We got some big things coming. Yeah, hit sub, hit sub, hit sub, hit, hit that sub, sub hit button, sub. please. Uh, hit, hit, follow us hit on Instagram. The sub button. <clears throat> Instagram. Um, and this is, and I mean, in case we didn't mention this already before, like it's amazing that we get to cover the amazing race. Amazing. Once the once the amazing race, uh, once that section of our life is over, we're gonna keep this thing going. We love talking to each other. We love talking crap, and we love it that you guys watch and leave comments. So messages whenever, comment whenever. Definitely subscribe and follow us on Instagram. Sub. Oh, sorry, dude, I'm, just being your, I'm just I'm just being your hype man back here. No, yeah, you're doing a good like, job. You're just like, yo, come on, baby, <laughs> mm, mm, hit that sub button. Let's go. <laughs> hit the sub button, please. Come on, just. Subscribe. <laughs> just, start, <laughs> just start banging your listeners to subscribe. Come on. It's Come like on. you're like emotionally involved. It's like, yeah. please subscribe. Please. Uh, play the, uh, oh, God. Oh, what's that pet commercial? Uh, Sarah McLaughlin. The, uh, Sarah McLaughlin. In the eye. Yeah. Yeah. Sarah <laughs> McLaughlin. That's right. Uh, yeah, oh, anyway, man. hit the sub button. You won't, you won't regret it. There's going to be some stuff dropping here uh, soon. Uh, follow the Instagram page. That's yeah, where it's yeah. going to be That's where debuted first. Off. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, and uh, safety first. Safety first. That's all I got. Uh, next episode, I'm excited for it. Um, I don't know. The, the more we go through, the more I feel like obviously there's less teams, so you start seeing a lot more of our uh, a lot more of our experience, and so I'm looking forward to episode five. Are you excited for it? I I'm, I remember I'm, little enough of I'm, it that I'm excited. <laughs> I'm not, or am I excited about it? Are we excited about it? Wait, oh, guys, we'll see. Thank you for listening to the Lost Com Show. It's been a riot. It always is. See ya.